Ine, Narande, Agri. Communities in Kamwenge district have reaped the benefits of the development response to displacement impact project. Various projects, including those focused on agriculture, environmental health, and more have positively impacted the region. And I, I would like to applaud the political leadership. They are in touch with the, the technocrats in the office of the prime minister and they are always following up to ensure that what is supposed to be supplied or provided is there. Dr. Patricia Achan Okiria, Deputy Inspector General of Government, inspected the ongoing projects under the Development Response to Displacement Impact Project. During her visit to Rukunyu Hospital, she engaged with medical practitioners, gaining insights into the challenges they face and inspected the facility. The most impressive part of the inspection was at the stores where they do not have issues of stockouts. The stores are fully equipped with drugs, patients are not paying for the facilities, patients are not paying for the drugs and we find them fully equipped with everything they need to operate and run a hospital. Dr. Mujuni Ivan, the in charge at Rukunyu Hospital, highlighted some of the challenges encountered. We are sitting in the world, we don't have a demonstration block, we don't have an OPD block. What you can see here is just a small building of 1969, where we are working from. We, either way we work, but uh, that's a bigger gap we have. Uh, other than that, I think um, the staff are well motivated. Here, even no one misses salary, and the district pay salaries promptly. For the end of month, we already received our salaries and our staff are really well motivated. Ezra Chamanywa, the chairperson of the community monitors in Biguli Sub County, expressed gratitude to Development Response to Displacement Impact Project for its support during the construction of Munyuma Primary School in Kamwenge. Our education system was not good because of the poor environment whereby our children would sit and start studying some of them were studying under the tree sheds however he also pointed out some of the challenges they have encountered the engineers couldn't do the work very well like the the cement which they would use on building uh the the, the verandas were not good so when we came here and realized that the work was a bit shabby and shoddy we said we are not happy with the type of work you have done we had to call our head as IG community, Mr. Kazungu. Mr. Kazungu came and we moved around the school trying to find out what work is not well. And he also forwarded the report. And these people came and abolished the shoddy work they had done. At Munyuma Primary School, the monitors diligently carried out their responsibilities. At Kaihura Farmers Group, Members are anticipating significant earnings from their passion fruit project under Dr. Deep. We dug a source of water in the swamp down there. So we pick our water, we pump it using a fuel water pump. We have a reservoir here, 3,000 liters. So we pump direct. Various projects including fish farming and goat rearing, were inspected as part of the comprehensive assessment. Kamwenge community has experienced positive changes in livelihoods through the Dr. Deep projects as the initiative nears completion. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.